Okay, these are my supplies that I use for grooming a saluki. I use this bristle brush just to wipe off my table so I can get the excess hair off the table when needed. Scout master brush, greyhound comb, slicker brush, a collar to hook him up with on the grooming arm, a 40 blade for the pad, and a pair of decent clippers, eight and a half blade that I use on the undersides only. This is for the pads at the bottoms of his feet. And for show grooming, I just have this little cheap set of cordless clippers, clippers that I take to the shows with me, and I can just do very light touch-ups with that. So, grooming a saluki is fairly elementary. Now, if you have a smooth, that's even easier. So, that's all. Oh, and a pin brush. Sometimes it's better to use the pin brush on the ears than the slicker, but I forgot my pin brush. It's in my grooming equipment that I didn't bring out with me. So, but if you're very careful, you can still use a slicker brush on the ears as well. Okay, and uh, I use guillotine nail clippers for the nails. Pretty easy, just one snip on each nail and I'm done. So, and my dogs are so used to it, I could just groom them, clip, cut their nails anywhere. They don't mind. It's, um, if you make a big deal out of nail cutting, they're going to make a big deal out of nail cutting. If you just do it quick and easy, then they're not going to care. Zeus, we hold your head up. We're going to do a little grooming episode on Zeus. It's been a while since he's been shown, and he's gotten a little bit hairy. Just a little bit. So, and this is what you do to them when they get hairy. <laughs> you put little barrettes in their fuzzies. Yeah. So, in order to save this dog from the ultimate embarrassment, we will groom him instead. Lucy! So, I will pull out the little barrettes, because that was just to be silly. And this little fluff here on his legs, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. I think I'll turn off the camera and turn it back on. I don't think I've got it focused. Okay, so this stuff right here is just fuzz. And you can very easily see it just pulls right out. You don't want to pull this because it's part of his feathering. But the fuzzies on his knees, they don't need to be there. And same for his upper arm. So his comes right out. It's just like little pieces of cotton. And usually what I do is back brush it with a little bristle brush and the little fuzzies that stick up, you can just gently pull out. You don't want to pull too hard because if you do, you're also going to pull out the coat that's underneath, the body coat, and you don't want to pull that. Then you'll have bald spots. Okay, so we'll finish pulling out the fuzzies and then I'll show you the next step. The next step to his coat is, I don't know if the camera's picking these up or not, but he's got these little guard hairs. Let's see if I can get an angle where it'll show them. Uh, I don't know if it's picking them up. But anyhow, he's got these little guard hairs, which are long stringy hairs just hang out of his body and he doesn't have a whole lot so what I do in his case is I'll just grab him
Usually what I do is just wrap my fingers and just pull them. So you can see them pulling out. Here's one. So they're really not too hard to get out. When they get a lot of them, then that's another story. Then it gets harder. My next step is I'm going to brush out his feathering. We can use a slicker brush carefully or a pin brush which won't tear the coat. He has a lot of pants. Some people like it, some people don't. I'd happen to like it. When it's there, it's a gift because not all dogs grow it. And then his hawks, I also happen to like those. Some people don't like those either. Some will cut all the hair off. But I think it just, for this particular dog, I think it just adds to his look. Okay, my next step will be, of course, it brush his tail too. No big deal. Next step will be to do these pads. So, and I use a blade on my clippers and I just clip the pads. Also, when brushing, be sure to pay attention to the feathering between the toes as well because that can be prone to get matted because of the friction on the hair between the toes when they move and run and play and such. So. And the hair is supposed to be there. They're supposed to have tufted hair between their feet. Not all will get that. And it's not a de with this qualification if they don't. So. Some people actually trim that off as well. I leave it. I like it. Adds to his look.